Good day viewers, welcome again to my channel, Second Matter, the solution to your math problems. This is WASI 2025, core math for private candidates. Theory question 10. The cost of feeding students in a certain school is partly constant and partly varies as the square root of the number of students. So let's represent this information uh, in an equation form. So the cost represented as C of feeding students in a certain school is partly constant. So this is the first constant and partly varies as the square root of the number of students. Remember C represents the cost and N represents the number of students. And because there is partial variation, there will be more than one constant. So K1 for the first constant and K2 for the second constant. Now, if it costs $640 to feed 144 students, so you can say that when C, so C is the cost, when C is 640, so the number of students will be 144. So let's substitute the value of C and N into the equation. So when C is 640, N is 144. So let's simplify. Square root of 144, we have 12, so 640 is equal to K1 plus 12K2. So this can also be written as K1 plus 12K2 is equal to 640. So this is our first equation. And again, when C is $560, it can feed 64 students. So you can say that when C is $560, N is 64. Again, let's substitute the values of C and N into the equation. So C is 560. And N is 64. So we can simplify this. Square root of 64, that is 8. So 560, K1 plus 8. K2. This can be written as K1 plus 8 K2 is equal to 560. This is our second equation. Now, you have to find A, the equation connecting C and N. So to find the equation connecting C and N, we need to find the values of K1 and then K2. So how do we do that? You can only find the values of K1 and K2 by solving these two equations simultaneously. So let me write down the equations again. So for equation 1, we have K1 plus 12K2 is equal to 640. And for equation 2, K1 plus 8K2 is equal to 560. So using elimination method, we can eliminate K1. We can eliminate K1. So we can see that equation 1 minus equation 2. So subtracting equation 1 and equation 2, this can help us eliminate K1. 
So starting with equation one, k1 minus k1 plus 12 k2 minus 8 k2. This must be equal to 640 minus 560. So clearly, let me repeat this. K1 minus K1 plus 12K2 minus 8K2 is equal to 640 minus 560. So K1 can cancel out. Now we have 12K2 minus 8K2. So that is 4K2. And this must be equal to 640 minus 560. We have 80. 80. So now four K two is equal to eight. We are looking for K two, so we can divide both sides by four. So we end up getting K two is equal to <coughs> twenty. We also need the values of K one. So what do we do? We put K two is equal to twenty into any of the two equations so into equation one remember for equation one we had k1 plus 12 k2 is equal to 640 so we have k1 plus 12 k2 is 20 and this must be equal to 640. So K1 plus 12 times 20, that is 240. And this must be equal to 640. So K1 is equal to 640 minus 240. And what is 640 minus 240? That is 4. So K1 is 400 and K2 is 20. So with this, we should be able to find the equation connecting C and N. So this was the original equation. So C is equal to. Now for K1, we had 400 plus K2. K2, we had 20. So 20 square root of n. So we are done with the a. Now b. We are to find the cost of feeding 196 students. So when the number of students is 196, we have to calculate for c. Remember, the equation connecting C and N is giving us C is equal to 400 plus 20 root N. So we know N as 196. So let's substitute the values into the equation. So we have C is equal to 400 plus 20. At this time, in place of N, we substitute 190. Six. So you see, uh, calculator four hundred plus twenty root one nine six. So that is six hundred and eighty. Remember, the unit is in dollars. So six hundred and eighty dollars. So that is the cost of feeding one hundred and ninety. Six students. Now, C. 
we are also to find a number of students that can be fed with seven hundred dollars so meaning that we know our cost as seven hundred and we want the number of students this money can feed again we are substituting c into the origin the into this equation so we know c as 700 this must be called 400 plus 20 root n we are looking for n so you can group like this so 700 minus 400 this must be equal to 20 root n and then 700 minus 400 that is 300 and this must be equal to 20 root n we are looking for n so for now let's divide both sides by 20 both sides by 20 so 300 divided by 20 we have 15 so 15 and then the 20 will cancel out the square to square root of n now let me get some space here so we have 15 is equal to square root of n remember you are looking for n so you have to square both sides so the square the square root will cancel out and what is the square root of or what is the square of 15 S square of 15 is 2 2 5 so therefore n is equal to 225 uh, students so that is for the c this brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please like, comment, and share. See you next time.